Got another one? Okay, let's check a break for a few minutes. Well, I, I have a dream too. Please. I'll take it. I just want to. Got one? <laughs> okay, we got to work. You got anything to eat? She wants to talk to you. Look at that. Oh. No chips, though. Sorry. <laughs> Coming up? All right. <laughs> Did you have a dream last night? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, all shut. So, um, so I had this dream late last year, I think. And uh, normally I would, I would not want to explore a dream that's that old and which I did not record at the time. But the memory of it keeps coming back to me from time to time, that one dream, in my waking life. And it's very short and it goes like this. A clown sits up suddenly from reclining like he just woke up. He's looking straight at me, or straight forward. His eyes are wild with surprise. Uh, he's a bit disturbing, crazy looking. Uh, a little bit like a scary clown. But also kind of not. Uh, also kind of. Also not scary. I, I can't decide. No. Kind of like, I just went by the new Alice in Wonderland uh, Movie, uh, billboard, that clown kind of, mm -hmm. is that out? No, that's uh, the Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So um, behind him is some kind of box, some kind of vertical box that he's in. So, he's, so basically he just wakes up, this surprise in his eyes. And then I hear, or I think the word 53 and I wake up. Good. Do it again. So a clown sits up suddenly from reclining, like boing, like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's looking straight at me and he's, he's like surprised. His eyes are wild with surprise. He's a bit disturbing, crazy looking, <laughs> kind of like a little bit like a scary clown, but also kind of not. Behind him is some kind of box uh, that he's in, and then I hear, or I think the word, 53. Good. What, uh, what am I going to ask? Uh, well, um, you know, some of the questions you can ask uh, don't seem to apply here, like goals, successes and failures, uh, but state of mind looks like a, a good one. Okay, go ahead. Um, you're watching this. Right. Um, well, one thing I can say is he certainly has my full attention. And... Um, 
another thing I, is that keeps coming to mind as I think about this dream is that my mother tells me when I was very small, there was a clown in a circus in a box, but it was like a mechanical clown. This is the 60s, so <laughs> what could they have accomplished back then, right? But, and this clown just sat there and laughed and laughed and laughed. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And so my mom says, here's, I'm, I'm a little kid and I'm just looking at this clown. I'm just, and I, I was totally plugged into him, but I couldn't figure him out or, or something like this. Mm -hmm. That scene keeps, yeah. and it's, it seems to be a similar kind of mm -hmm. state. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, what, what's going on here? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Are you, like, are you real or are you Memorex? You uh, have two things going on as states of mind, don't you? Did you see that? Um. At the one hand, he's wild with the desire. No, not desire, surprise. Surprise at the, no, that's true. He, he is or I am? No. He, he wakes up yeah. with surprise, like something just woke him up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's almost like he has frizzy hair, like something just Yeah, but he looks, come on, how would you describe it? He's wild um, with desire. He looks crazy, his eyes look crazy, like, yeah. Like he's just been given a shock treatment or something, or he's, uh, but it's not entirely bad either. It, it's like, um, like I've thought a lot about this dream and that state of mind, I've thought about a lot over the last six months, even without exploring it. And I keep asking myself, is this dream saying to me that when I'm 53, which happens in July, uh, that when I, sometime when I turn 53 in that year, I'm going to wake up. Mm -hmm. And is that going to be a good thing or a bad thing? <clears throat> so, interesting. <clears throat> By the way, uh, would you read it again? There's a word missing. So, uh, clown sits up suddenly from reclining like he just woke up. His eyes are wild with surprise. He's a bit disturbing, crazy looking, kind of a little bit like a scary clown, but also kind of not. But also not. But also not. Yeah, see? Yeah. What does that mean? It means that I have some uh, empathy or sympathy for him. I can see that he might be going through something and he's just, he may be suffering. Or he, yeah, there's a humanity to him. They might be going through something. Yeah. And you're observing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But even though you're observing it, and he might be going through something, uh, you're saying he is this way, but in a way he is not. Is that he is not? Uh, in the dream? Because this is your reaction to it. Uh, um, it's my description. It, he, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to answer the question for you. Um, like, like he's not. Um, I, I'm a little bit scared of him, but he's not like a monster or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm also, you know, I'm not going away either. I'm curious. I, I sure. there might be some kind of. Uh, I guess what I'm getting at is uh, there might be a soul in there. Because he's not being a clownish. Not at that, well. Right? If he's a clown, give him a grade. 
I'm not laughing. You're not laughing. Give him a grade. <laughs> uh, zero. F. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and you're puzzled about his condition. I'm puzzled. Yeah. He might be going through something. Right. But you're just watching. Fifty-three. So, so we want to push now. Hey, you, you give him your full attention. You're watching it going on. What's it like watching it going down? You have these concerns, but you are. Um, I want to say out of control or helpless. I don't. Uh, I feel. Uh, I'm just, I'm su surprised, and I, well, we've unpacked it here in the exploration, so it went by fleetingly fast in the dream. But now that you get me to focus on it, it makes me smile, because that changes everything. Say it again. And what would change the word? That changes everything. Uh, because, come on. Uh, because at the point where this is true, what I want to do from that point forward is look for meaning. I, well, I'm looking for, at that point, if that's true, then there's an intelligibility, there's a, there's a, a providence, there's a story, there's a reason for that story, uh, suffering, Stops behind the appearances, right? This is all appearances. Huh? Yes, you're looking behind appearances. Hmm. You're, come on. Um, in the world of ideas. Yeah. And you're looking for meaning and the story behind his suffering. Huh? Interesting state of mind, isn't it? What do you think of it? Come on. Talk about it. I think philosophy is uh, beginning to uh, <laughs> uh, Uh, pull me in. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pretty interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Good for you. Good stuff. Ah, that's the one. <laughs>